Welcome to Happily Homemade with Love. Let's make some tomato mint rasam. Rasam is nothing but a thin soup made with lentils and spices and sometimes without lentils and just tomatoes and some spices. So let's see all the ingredients we have taken to make this. I've taken some black pepper, roasted cumin seeds, some finely cut ginger, asafoetida or hing, mint leaves, rasam powder, red chilli powder, clarified butter or ghee. I have taken some homegrown tomatoes and curry leaves. We need tamarind paste, some jaggery, cumin seeds and mustard seeds. First, we will coarsely crush roasted cumin seeds and black pepper using a mortar and a pestle. You can use any cooking pot to make rasam, but today I'll be using a kalsatti, which literally means stone cookware. And this one was gifted to me by one of our very good friends. Take a teaspoon of ghee or clarified butter. Once it melts, add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, half teaspoon cumin seeds, one fourth teaspoon asafoetida and then a string of curry leaves some mint leaves and finally cut ginger and roast them all well add coarsely crushed black pepper and roasted cumin seeds all the spices in the rasam helps with digestion generally it is eaten along with rice and sometimes people like to drink it as well. Spices have cooked well. Now it's time to add the tomatoes. This is the best part of homegrown tomatoes. They're so juicy, unlike the store-bought ones. Tomatoes have cooked well. Let's add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Next, we will add three teaspoons of rasam powder. I'll add the recipe for the rasam powder in the description box below. You can also use the ready-made ones that you get from the store. The rasam powder that I'm using is not so spicy, so I'm adding half a teaspoon of red chili powder. It's completely optional. Now we will add a teaspoon of tamarind paste and a small piece of jaggery. According to Ayurveda, we stay healthy when the three doshas are balanced in our body. That is vata, which is composed of air and space, pitta of fire and kapha of earth and water. Some food ingredients aggravate particular type of dosha in our body. Tamarind has got many health benefits, but the prominent property of tamarind is pitta or heat. By adding jaggery or fenugreek, we balance out the pitta property of tamarind. Now let's add enough water and adjust the consistency. I am adding 2 teaspoons of salt here. Please go ahead and adjust the salt according to your taste and also the quantity of rasam you are making. At this point we will not boil it for too long, we will just bring it to a boil and turn off the flame. Hey, we need some cilantro for garnishing, let me go quickly grab it from the garden. Hmm. So where is the garden or where is the cilantro? Let's find out. We have a secret spot in the garden. Yes. Hoop house. Ta da! Surprise! Yes, they're doing so very well, even in this cold winter weather. So I'm just going to harvest uh, just a small amount that is required to make the rasam. I turned off the flame even before I went into the garden, but the kalsati has retained the heat and it is still boiling. Yeah, let's garnish it with the freshly cut cilantro. And we are done. Thanks for watching. Eat healthy and stay healthy.